Hello, my friends, and welcome to week three of my extreme budget challenge. I am trying to keep this as close to $100 a month as possible for three adults. So I want to go really quick through what I have left of my inventory from two weeks ago. I have, this is thawed, but I have four more packages of pinto beans plus this one. I still have quite a few of these sausages that I picked up for 50 cents at the Dollar Tree. So watch your prices. Within about two weeks before they expire, quote unquote, they put them on sale. And that's going to save you a ton of money. I picked up 12 of these for $6. So I, that's just a great deal. And you can make quite a few things out of them. I still have some peanut butter left, a little bit of yeast, my oil and vinegar. This is the rice I have left. I have a lot of sugar left, quite a bit of brown sugar left here. My flour is getting a little bit low. That would be enough for the week if I needed it to be. Um, I just took my, I turned this, this was my ferment that I turned into sourdough starter. I brought it out of the refrigerator because I'm going to use it this week. And I still have about that much milk left in this carton. So that's pretty much... Oh, and I have some taco seasoning left. But that's what I have left over from my original haul. And I'll show you what I picked up for this week. Now, what did I get today? I went to the Dollar Tree first, and I'm kind of glad I did that. Because I found... They sell the same margarine for $1.25 at Walmart. It's $1.48. So I saved, what, 23 cents, 28 cents by buying it there. And the rice is $1.25 for two pounds at Dollar Tree. It's $1.46 at Walmart. So there's another 21 cent savings. So I saved almost 50 cents by going there instead. The eggs, I am going to use six of my fresh eggs, but I didn't want to forget. So that's $1.25 for six eggs at the Dollar Tree. At Walmart, they're still over $3, so either way, I'm getting a better deal there. Oops, okay, no eggs in there, luckily. I was able to pick up a roll of the pork sausage. Now, I liked that turkey sausage, but they raised the price to $2.78 from $2.10, so it made better sense to get, I could have gotten two of these for less than what that was. I picked up one this week, of course, for $1.25. I wanted some kind of snacks again this week. If I had known what I was going to be spending, I probably wouldn't have got them and saved the $1.25, but I picked up a bag of the white cheddar popcorn that we could have during the week. I also picked up one five pack of the ramen noodles from the Dollar Tree. I was hoping to do this week without having to use a lot of homemade things like breads and biscuits and tortillas. I wanted to see if I could do this challenge and make my own noodles and such. I'm telling you, on this budget for us, it, it's just not able to be done. So I did buy a couple of things to make it easier for, say, a single mom who's just coming home from work, wants to throw something on the table pretty quick. That's why I picked up stuff like the ramen. But as far as breads and biscuits, it's so much cheaper just to buy a small bag of flour and some of the butter and make your own. But anyway, I digress. Then I found they had some, this pack of ham on sale. You know we like to eat pizza at least once a week. This was on sale for 50 cents. There is actually two little packages of ham in here. So I can use one for this week and I'll freeze the other for next week for our pizza. And at least this gives us something besides, you know, cheese that I can put on my pizza. All right, so my total at the Dollar Tree was $8 even, okay? Then I went to Walmart and Walmart, I didn't pick up a whole lot of stuff, but it cost more. I picked up some mozzarella cheese for pizza, and I'm going to have to probably save at least one of these kinds for most of them for next week, at least half of one, 
because my budget next week is pretty dismal. But I got two things of cheese. That was $4. And I picked up this 20-pack of flour tortillas. Now, for the price of this, it was $1.98. I could have, for 40 cents more, picked up a five-pound bag of flour and made a month's worth of tortillas. So that's what I'm saying. If you have the time to prepare ahead, you can make a whole bunch of them and freeze them. They freeze very well. You will save money that way. But if you can't do it or you don't have the time, then this was a pretty decent deal. And the ones at the Dollar Tree, which is why I stopped there first, I wanted to see their tortillas, they were the same size. These are maybe 8-inch, 6-inch ones. They were 10 in a pack for the $1.25. So this actually was a better deal. Then I picked up, I already put it in here, a package of the taco seasoning. One jar of pasta sauce and some petite diced tomatoes. I was hoping to get the ones that had like the chilies in them or whatever, but they just didn't have any um, off-brand ones. And the name brand ones were 50 or 60 cents a can more. I was looking for my little jalapeno. I bought another little jalapeno to go with the tomatoes. I'm going to make like a salsa. And I set it somewhere. I can't find it. It's probably on this counter somewhere and it kind of blends in. The last item I picked up was a bag of self-rising flour. I want to make some biscuits this week, quite a few for breakfast. And the self-rising flour has your baking powder in it. It also, which I wasn't aware until I looked today, happens to be about 30 cents a bag cheaper than your plain all-purpose five-pound bag of flour. So instead of having to buy baking powder and the flour, if you're going to make biscuits, um, soda breads, things that need baking powder, pick this up instead because it's cheaper. Okay, so the total haul for this week came to... $18.29. But remember, I don't have a lot of meat here for those frozen sausages. But last week, and it's not counted in this week's total because I already subtracted it, I picked up this four pound thing of chicken thighs to use this week in the meal plan. After all this is done, if I stick to the $100 or less this month, I have seven dollars and thirty cents left i won't need to buy any more rice any more flour and you know things like that but that is tight that's a tight budget if you have to buy some kind of meat remember though i left myself twenty dollars in case i needed to use it instead of spending eight dollars and thirty three cents per adult per week which is twenty five dollars if I went to $10 per person per week, they would give me $120 for the month, um, which I, with that extra money, I could do quite a lot that last week. But I'm going to try to keep it without using as much of this reserved as possible. That also brings up another subject, though. It's always good to have something stuck aside in your purse. It, I don't care if you put it in your shoe. If you find a really good deal like I did on those sausages, and you have an extra five or ten or twenty dollars that you could stash, buy that stuff when you find it on clearance. That's how you get your stores going. The final thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is vegetables and fruit. Now you know I grow a lot of my own and I know how to forage and find different things like that. Now if you do not have room for a garden or you're not sure about the foraging, um, Walmart sells frozen vegetables really inexpensive. You can get a, I think they're 12 ounces, 12 ounce bag of mixed vegetables or things like broccoli or corn or peas or beans or whatever for around 88 cents. You can get um, some of the like other mixes. Uh, one that I like is cauliflower, broccoli and carrots. That one's a dollar. So even if you get two bags a week to add to your meals, it's going to be $2 or less. So that's something to keep in mind. The other thing is fruit. 
if you want some fruit to add to some of your breakfast or whatever, you don't grow raspberries like I do, or you don't have blackberries around the corner that you can pick, the fruit at the Dollar Tree is $1.25. It's pretty good. I've had it. I've had the strawberries. I've had, I believe they call it a smoothie blend. It has uh, strawberries and bananas, but that's another option for you. So you could do something like make biscuits and have some frozen strawberries on them for a type of dessert. Anyway, I wanted to at least mention that because, you know, I'm using a lot of my own here. That's just because that's the way I do things. Obviously, in the wintertime, it's either ones that I canned or frozen or things like that. So um, keep that in mind as well. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel. And if you're not yet, please subscribe.